All right, today we're going to be taking a look at another Zippo. Now this one is labeled as 1970s fuel can. Of course, it's a genuine Zippo made in Bradford, PA. It's got the normal black box on the outside anyway. And on the inside, it's kind of a special insert. It says vintage look. And part of the explanation, it says the most, this model articulates the retro look of Zippo lighters produced in the 1930s. Compared to modern lighters, the lid is flatter and has squared corners for a more formal look. So that's the vintage look explanation. Here's the lighter. And it also has the slashes on the upper right, upper left. Also upper right, upper left, or lower left on the back. And it's the street chrome edition. Now this thing also comes in, well first of all it has that more squared corners. Here's a normal Zippo. You can see they're more squared. The retro look is more square than the normal. At least on top. This one's a little bit more round. And also the retro look includes it includes the patent number down on the lower left. That's the patent number they used to use in the 30s. And that Zippo can is from the 1970s. Now Zippo also makes this type retro look in a brass body. You can see the corner slashes and on the bottom is also the patent number. And they also make it in a high polished version. Same lighter but high polished. There's the slashes and it also has the patent number on it. So this is a pretty nice retro look. Zippo. Got a really good sound. Steel insert. Lights up just fine. Let's do a drop test on this retro Zippo. A lit light. A lit test. Okay, that stayed lit okay. I just didn't hit the target. We'll try it one more time. See if I can hit the target. Well, I knocked over the can. But it still stayed lit. So that is, uh, that passed the drop test real nice. That is the retro look. And the 70s Zippo fuel can. Here's the can they use right now, today. That's a pretty nice Zippo. And that one, of course made in the USA, it definitely deserves a little cowbell. Knuckle bomb. 